title as well as the thumbnail, I'm going to be making something otherworldly. Today I'm going to be turning this Coca-Cola bottle into a giant gummy Coca-Cola bottle. Now I'm personally, I'm pretty much addicted to Coke. I drink Coke like every day. It's really, really bad. So when I saw this on the internet and on YouTube, I was like, wow. I need to do this. This is my calling in life. <laughs> and that is why I'm going to be filming this DIY for you guys, so you guys can do it at home as well. Also, just claim by no means am I taking credit for this. I didn't come up with this idea myself. I'm not that clever. And it's just a little bit of fun, so I thought I would try this DIY out for you guys. So for this DIY, I'm going to be using this 500ml bottle. You can do it with a 2 litre bottle, but I feel like you would need a hell of a lot of gelatine for that. So I'm just going to be doing it with this little bottle here. I'm really thirsty. I kind of really want to drink it. No, 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 I can't. <laughs> I like how I actually thought about it. So the first thing you want to do is pour all of the coke out into a clean bowl. Once you have emptied out the bottle, you can now remove the label. We're going to be using this later. And to take it off, you can either rip it off using your hands or you can use an X-Acto knife for more precision. Once you have successfully taken off the label, you can now use an X-Acto knife to cut a little slit in the centre of the bottle. And this is just going to make the whole removal process afterwards much easier. Because we are going to be placing liquids back into the bottle, you, you want to tape up that slit so there is no leaking. Now to create the jelly consistency, first you're going to need 100 milliliters of water, place that into a bowl, and then you're going to place your gelatin sachets into the mixture. The ones I'm using are these six vegetarian gel sachets. These are from Sainsbury's and I found these in the baking section. In the video which I watched as reference for this video, the guy used eight packets I think, and I will pop the link for his video down below as well. So the ratio of the gelatin in compared to the water is going to be a little bit strange, so it might be quite hard to mix it all up, but just try your best. And once you're done, the consistency should resemble that of a mashed potato. Once you have finished mixing it all together, you can pop it in the microwave for about a minute, and this should melt it all together and make it into a liquid consistency. Now you want to take that gelatin mixture and just pop it into the bowl of coke that we previously emptied out. All there is left to do is mix that all together and pour it back into the coke bottle. And then to finish off the DIY, you just want to pop that bottle into a fridge for about an hour. If you're living alone, that's fine, but if you are living with family, make sure you tell them what you're doing because it would be disgusting if they drank that. After an hour, you want to take your bottle and start cutting off the plastic around it. If you cut off the middle section and start ripping it off, it will be much easier to pull off the other ends. Now all there is left to do is pop over your original label and a bottle cap to make it look like a real Coke bottle. And you are done! I'm pretty sure you could fool people with this. It actually looks so realistic. Even the glare of the jelly looks like the glare in plastic. It could actually really fool you. That is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I have to say I am really impressed with how it turned out. This was so fun to make and it's such a cool little project that you can do at home. Only thing I did wrong was when I was taking the gummy bottle out of the plastic bottle, I kind of ripped off the bottom part off so it kind of looks a bit weird. But regardless, I still think it looks pretty cool. So that is all for the video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did then definitely leave it a thumbs up. I post really fun DIY videos all the time so be sure to subscribe to this channel as well as my vlog channel. And if you would like to follow me on any of my social media, my Twitter, Instagram and Snapchat are all Roxora, same way it's about here. And that is all from me. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!